First at six, for the very first time, medical marijuana is up for debate on the South Carolina House and Senate floor. News 13's Taylor Hernandez is with us right now. And Taylor, you heard from people on both sides of this argument, and what are the big takeaways? Well, supporters of the Compassionate Care Act cite the number of opioid overdoses in the state as one of their arguments for the legalization of cannabis. The law would not allow patients to smoke marijuana, and it would restrict access to those with certain provable medical conditions. So for some, especially law enforcement, that is just simply not enough to avoid the slippery slope. We need this medicine and to keep it away from patients because of fear and stigma is just wrong. It's inhumane. Like most moms, there's not a thing Jill Swing wouldn't do for her daughter. We have been fighting for medical cannabis legalization in the state of South Carolina really since she was six years old. 14 year old Mary Louise suffers from a certain form of epilepsy. At its worst, she was having a thousand seizures a day. So Jill decided to take her to Maine for legal physician supervised cannabis treatment. We were up there for five weeks and um, during that time um, she was just a different child and she shouldn't have to suffer back here in South Carolina. Jill says cannabis was a life changing for Mary Louise like it was for Gary Hess, a Marine veteran who served in Iraq during the height of the war on terror. I was diagnosed in, in a transition home with traumatic brain injury, uh, chronic pain, uh, significant hearing loss, and then post-traumatic stress disorder uh, among, among a myriad of other conditions. I can tell you that between my dog and, uh, and medical cannabis um, integrated on a daily basis is why I'm sitting here today. Jill and Gary agree the biggest legal hurdle is overcoming misinformation and the stigma surrounding weed. Grand Strand lawmaker Stephen Goldfinch once agreed with the majority of his conservative colleagues and argued against medical cannabis. He's since had a change of heart after witnessing how it helped another young girl with epilepsy. Why am I trying to prevent a pothead from getting his hands on a joint at the expense of this little girl? But not everyone has come around. Leaders from the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division and the State Sheriff's Association are vehemently opposed to the Compassionate Care Act. Fearing medical cannabis opens a Pandora's box and recreational weed isn't far behind. There's obviously a whole lot more to this debate. The discussion will continue in Columbia for what's likely to be a number of days before a vote there is taken. In the meantime, News 13 did a full series about the Compassionate Care Act. You can find a link to our Palmetto Pot War series on WBTW.com.